Alrighty, so I'm just um, going to roll out some black ink here to do an ink transfer drawing. I should tell you that my name is Mark Zimmerman and I am a visiting artist here at Sanford Arts or through Sanford Arts. There's support from the State Arts Council and the NEA as well. That looks pretty good. So that is black ink. I'm going to lay a sheet of paper on the black ink and draw or rub with my fingers on the back and um, create what I call an ink transfer drawing. So I'm just going to tape that paper down so it doesn't move. Okay, and then that ink I rolled out is in there inside um, some a rectangle of tape. And I can feel that tape with this pen. So I'm going to drag this pen along the edge of that tape. Kind of carefully. If I make a mistake, it's not a real big deal. So any pressure that I put on the back of this paper um, ends up transferring um, ink to the front. And I've got a, got a photo here of a raven. And I'm going to um, see if I can't do something with that. Uh huh. Let's see. Maybe drag him in here a little ways. And um, try not to get caught up too much in the details of him. And ravens have these funky feathers on the front of their beak, top of their beak. So anything I make dark on the back is kind of going to be a corresponding dark on the front, except Except that uh, everything comes out backwards. So when I'm all done, this guy's going to be facing that way. Partly the ink transfer drawing is just an excuse to scribble. Okay, so I'm building a raven here. If I uh, touch the back of the paper with my finger, you'll notice my hand is in the air. It's not resting on the paper because that would transfer ink too. But if I want to transfer ink, all I need to do is touch it a little bit with my finger and I get a transfer that way too. So these drawings, just had the puppy come and lay on my foot. Uh, these drawings are free for the taking, and there should be a stack of them near 
where you're watching this video. Normally I'm in the waiting room doing this, demonstrating and helping people do their own drawings as well. Anyway, if you want one of those, two of those, I don't know, don't get too greedy. But uh, if you'd like to help yourself, I think you are welcome to do so. That's what they're there for. I'm going to leave a little, leave him a little lighter than he really is. So I want to, I want to, um, I want to add some color too. I've got some watercolor paint mixed up. It's tube watercolor, but I'm, I've got it in solution, so it's quick and easy to use. So, I think I got a raven, or an approximation thereof. I think I want, I think I want some lines that kind of divide things up here a little bit too. So. So I'm going to take this square. For some reason I think I want a square line here. And... And I think I want a circle as well. So again, any pressure on the back of this paper transfers ink to the front. See, I got a nice shadow cast out here. Maybe I need to uh, light right out there. If you can hear that dog, that's the puppy chewing on her bone down at my feet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna darken that with my finger, pressure from my finger. And maybe darken a little bit of this raven down in here too. Uh, you know what? I think I want this back because I think I'm going to do something else. Let's see if I can get that in about the same spot. Pen quit working there, you yeah. know. Doesn't matter, it's still transferring ink even when it's not leaving a mark on the back side. But it's kind of nice to know where your marks are. So I like it when it works.
So I'm just using that lid, I think it's off a peanut butter jar, as a little template. And I think I'll just come up in here as well. Transfer a little ink to, again, everything's happening on the underside. So I think I want a line down here toward the bottom too. Um, so yeah, about right there. And I think I better darken some of this in here too. A little lighter pressure here. It's hard to see on the video, but I'm not pressing quite as hard as I was uh, up in some of that area. Harder in this corner. Now I can peek, see what I've got. Hmm. What do we think? I think I can do the rest of it with color. So I'm going to take this tape off. Put that right there and splash a little paint on it. Like I said, I've got my paint all mixed up, ready to go. There's my raven I was looking at. Everything is backwards, as you can see. So, got a little turquoise paint. I want that pretty light in here, though. Let the so there's no white paint over there that I can access but if I want to make something light I just add a little water so and if I get too dark I can come back and pick it up too and I might want a little bit of light shining on this guy So just a little bit of light. So I got yellow, and yellow and blue make a green. So I'm actually with yellow trying to create a green.
Take some of that turquoise that I started with. Down in here would be nice. Now, a lot of guys would plan this out, but my plans never seem to work anyway, so I don't spend much time on them. That's dark. How about a little water? Remember, that's my white. I do want to let that ink transfer show through. I don't want to cover it all. Hmm. I think I just go like this. Then I've got a new color for me. I'm kind of liking it's indigo. So kind of a, a blue violet that's very dark, almost black. So I really want kind of a light gray out of that, so I'm adding water. And a little darker, so a little more paint. 